The EPA says that there's over $600 billion of water and wastewater infrastructure that we are behind on if we are going to meet the clean water and wastewater disposal needs of our country. We put $6 billion into water and wastewater in the stimulus. There is $600 billion of work to be done. That's just water and wastewater. The call for infrastructure investment is apparent. The U.S. Civil Engineers Association gives us a D for infrastructure. We're 30th among nations for infrastructure. We need to make this investment whether or not we needed the jobs, and while we need the jobs, it makes only more sense. We are having a hard time fighting that idea through the Tea Party Republicans in Washington, even though the United States Chamber of Commerce supports infrastructure investment. So I'm going to work very hard, and I hope that this union and its advocacy work very hard to support the President's package of jobs. So, I'm going back to Washington this afternoon to vote on a continuing resolution that will solve two problems. One, the Tea Party is insisting that even though it's fine with them to rebuild a bridge in Afghanistan with borrowed money, and to rebuild a school in Afghanistan with borrowed money. It's not okay with them to rebuild a school that got torn apart by a tornado in Missouri with borrowed money. And it's not okay with them to rebuild a bridge that got washed out in Vermont with borrowed money. There is a double standard, and Americans are on the losing end of that double standard. That's one of the points they insisted on. But if you think that protecting Social Security matters, if you think that protecting Medicare matters, if you think that we should be as quick to rebuild a school in Missouri and a bridge in Vermont as we are to rebuild schools and bridges in Afghanistan, then you need to get on the phone and you need to let your representative know how you feel. Because here's how they're voting, here's what their plan is, here's what they're doing, and call them out and give America that choice.